probiotics, menopause, and vaginal dryness. What do these things have to do with one another? Well, menopause leads to a lot of changes in women's bodies, and as part of Menopause Awareness Month, I want to talk about one of the most common symptoms, vaginal dryness. Just like your gut microbiome, your vagina also has a microbiome, and changes in its overall balance can be the cause of painful UTIs and discomfort during sex. I'm Leslie, and I'm here to help you take a deeper look into this common symptom to help you with your new prime of life. While lubricants, HRT, and vaginal estrogen can all help with dryness, did you know that probiotics can also make a difference? According to the Cleveland Clinic, there are over 50 strains of bacteria in the vagina. That's a lot. And an imbalance in this microflora can contribute to dryness, UTIs, and other vaginal problems. Dr. Uluwatozen Goji, an OBGYN at the Cleveland Clinic, says that numerous lactobacillus strains have been shown to be active against the main pathogens responsible for bacterial infections of the vaginal and urinary tract. Dr. Goja says that these lactobacillus strains can help with vaginal health. So I'm gonna put a whole list here and they range from lactobacillus acidophilus to lactobacillus ramosus. There'll be others and I'll have them here on the side. But the two most beneficial strains for vaginal health are lactobacillus crispatus and lactobacillus ramosus. In fact, lactobacillus crispatus appears to be helpful in both treating and preventing bacterial vaginosis since it can outcompete the bad bacteria in the vagina. Lactobacillus ramosus is beneficial if you suffer from yeast infections. Dr. Goja says that research shows that lactobacillus ramosus kills bacteria and yeast in the vagina. It actually kills it. It can restore urogenital flora in individuals with a history of bacterial vaginosis, yeast vaginitis, or urinary tract infections. So how do you get these beneficial microbes into your vagina? You should take them orally, and it takes about seven days from the time you ingest them until they actually reach the vagina. What about inserting yogurt with these strains directly into the vagina? Dr. Catherine Goebel, a colleague of Dr. Goges, also an OBGYN at the Cleveland Clinic, cautions against this. She says that even unsweetened yogurt has natural sugars, which can fuel yeast growth and might make matters worse. Now, if you found this video eye-opening, please hit that like button and share it with someone who needs to hear it. Let's spark a conversation around safer pathways to healthier and happier longevity. If you have experienced UTIs due to some of these vaginal infections and you have other ways of healing them, please share your experience below. Equally, if you've tried some of these probiotic strains and you've had success, please let us know. Any suggestions for future videos, drop in the comments. In the meantime, stay curious, stay healthy, stay empowered on your path to your new prime of life.